In today's episode of Hold or Sell, we're going to be going over the Air Jordan 5 UNC colorway and we're going to be talking about if the sneaker is a cop or not, how to actually buy the sneaker, where it's going to be releasing and all of the other relevant information that you need to know to make a decision on if you should purchase the sneaker to resell or if you should skip it entirely. Let's get right on to the video. Now this sneaker I'm actually looking forward to a lot because of all of the history behind the shoe itself. Obviously this sneaker is meant to mimic the university blue colorway from Jordan's University of North Carolina. But all of the backstory isn't just why I'm interested in the shoe itself, the details are absolutely amazing. The thing that caught my eye the most is the plush sock liner in the shoe itself. That just screams quality to me and it also gives me an indicator that this sneaker is going to be incredibly sought after as a personal or a sneaker to be collected from all of those diehard Jordan fans out there, which, which automatically gives us a nice indicator on if this sh shoe will be good to resell or not not. But I'd love to give you guys some release information of this shoe itself. As you're probably well aware, this sneaker is going to be releasing on March the 4th, which can be today from when you're seeing this video, for a retail price of 225 USD, or if you live in Australia, that's around 330 Australian dollars. It's kind of on the high end, just because it is a special edition sneaker, uh, and it does get a special edition premium price to it. The list of stores that you can cop this shoe from is on the screen right now. They're there's not that many places and I don't expect there to be a high stock just because of the SE titling on the shoe itself which means that it might be pretty limited but there is a high cost of investment so we do have to suss out the ROI to see if the sneaker is going to be a good investment or not but yeah we'll go on to that in a bit later. Uh, judging by on the screen right now, the university blue color dominates the shoe itself. It's a very simple sneaker with a nice pastel blue university blue color. Uh, obviously, we do have that sock liner that I did mention before, and we have that nice patch on the back of the sneaker itself. The greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan. Um, but yeah, overall, the details are absolutely immaculate. I would expect nothing less from a sneaker with such a high retail price. Now, for the moment, that you all have been waiting for the resale predictions and investment insights judging by stockx right now the resale prices are at a whopping 380 dollars or something like that right now they list they're listed for around 450 but they're currently selling for a price of around 380 australian dollars so right now that gives me an indicator that this sneaker isn't even released yet but yet it's only selling for less than 400 Australian dollars or around 300 USD. So right now I don't have high hopes for the sneaker in the resale market but that's okay you know it's not not everything has to be a reselling sneaker these might appeal to more of the diehard jordan collector fans they will not pass up on the opportunity to buy a unc colorway of the air jordan silhouette um but yeah i think that the most profitable sizes of these are going to be the bigger sizes so that's going to be size 9 through the 12 or 13 you can definitely always have a customer for that size range but yeah do i think that this sneaker is going to be a good investment or not i actually don't think that this sneaker is going to be a good investment just just because I do think that there are better opportunities elsewhere with a low cost of investment and a high return. For example, dunks that cost 150 Australian dollars but sell for in the neighborhoods of 300 to 400 Australian dollars, that automatically gives you like an ROI of 100 to 150 percent. Whereas if you buy this sneaker for around 330 Australian dollars or 225 USD, but you sell it for 270 USD or 400 Australian dollars, that only gives you an ROI of around 10 to 20 percent. And obviously there's the whole discussion about if you can actually move these pairs or not. If you buy one pair and sell one pair, that's calm. But if you do buy 10 pairs, you're going to have to sell 10 pairs. And at the end of the day, are you really going to want to put $3,000 of, $3, of your capital to only make around 10% back after you spent like one or two months trying to sell the shoe itself all of these variables have to be considered in order if you want to be a successful sneaker investor or sneaker reseller obviously the people the high profile resellers that have you know tons of capital and tons of connections can easily move these sneakers for the price that they want 
but for beginner resellers with beginner capital and beginner connections they might struggle to sell the sneaker for the price that they want they may have to undercut the market a little bit or they may they may have to sell it at a loss but overall i do think that it is an amazing sneaker with great history there's always going to be a market with the university blue sneakers my main predictions for this shoe in the long term is going to be around the 350 to 450 australian dollar price range within the next six months just because there is a market for these but i don't exactly know what the demand is like if it's going to grow exponentially or if the resale price is going to simmer down just because we are in uncertain times in the economy and not a lot of people are going to want to purchase sneakers for exorbitant prices but overall i do think that this is a sell now if you do purchase these sneakers just because i do feel like you can secure your profits in the short term and buy back if prices do drop if you want to hold for the long term but yeah this shoe is definitely one for the books and if you enjoy these videos please make sure to like and subscribe let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about the sneaker if you're going to be copying or if you're going to be dropping but yeah i'll see you guys in another video take care and peace out